everybody, it's Amy from Clatter. Today we're going to be doing a song called Monarch. This is off of our second album, which was also called Monarch. I was at the request of one of our fans. Thanks for sending that in. What I just played was the introduction. It's um, kind of a slow build from nothing into the verse. Uh, let me break it down for you a little bit. It starts with just me playing the notes and then the muted strings in between just for some rhythm. Okay, then for the second half of the intro, we're building it up a little bit. So I'm playing the notes and then the open strings rather than the muted strings. And then for that last little bit, I do some strumming. Now when I'm strumming, I hit the A string, the open A string as well, just a little bit to uh, give it just a little hint of what's about to come. into the verse and the verse then features that A string really prominently kind of like a it's like a an anchor note it kind of grounds the whole verse and so I wanted to hint at that as I was building up into the verse part so the verse as I said has this open A string and then this uh, little figure that goes over the top of it I'll play it and then explain it afterward I'm just playing the A string and then I leave my other two fingers anchored on these top two strings. I just want those strings to really ring out. I don't want it to sound staccato. I just want those notes to be continuing on as I play with my ring finger these other top two notes uh, alternating back and forth. I want those other two notes just to be continually playing underneath rather than being more staccato like a instead it's more of a keeping the, the notes holding out a little bit longer and um, making more of a chord sound underneath while other notes are playing over the top of that. So that's the uh, verse part, it's fairly simple. So let's go from the verse then into the chorus. It sounds like this. a lot of chords in there. Uh, as I was preparing to do this video, I was realizing that there are a lot of things that I do that I don't actually realize I'm doing. I think it's partly just instinctive. After you've played an instrument for a really long time, you just start doing things without really realizing it. One of those things is muting strings. So as I'm going along in this chorus part, I'm really mostly interested in just hearing the middle two strings. The bottom and the top string, I don't really want to hear them most of the time, so I keep them muted. And I discovered that my hand uh, just does that naturally. Um, for the bottom string, my thumb will mute the bottom, or what I call the bottom string, the E string. And then any combination of my fingers or my hand will mute the top string. So if, uh, if I play this slowly for you, you can hear a little bit what I'm trying to accomplish. hear those two middle strings. I don't want to hear the bottom and the top. So in order for that to sound uh, sound good, I just have to keep those bottom and top strings muted. Now there's a part of that chorus where I actually play a note on this top string here. So I'll need to adjust my fingering as I go so that will happen. And what I do is um, I'm playing along and going I open up that top string, it's a dissonant chord when I play these three notes together. But to me, it adds a little bit of tension and then it resolves when I add that top note. So it goes from. So you can do a whole lot 
lot with muting and uh, adding notes and things just to add a little bit more tension as you're going from one part to the other without having to do a whole lot of really fancy fingering or anything, just opening things up or closing them back off again in order to get more sounds from your bass line. So that's basically how the chorus part goes. Uh, and then there's a bridge part, which is really simple. It goes back and forth between playing fingers and then strumming it. So it goes like this. we're building back up into the verse. So we start off just playing with the fingers. And then to build a little bit more, we start strumming. Now again, as you can see, I am muting the second string up because I don't want it to ring out. As you're strumming, it's really easy to catch strings and, and make them play when you don't intend for them to. So I'm muting it with my ring finger. But at the very end, I'm letting that A string come out because just like in the introduction, we're going back into the verse and we want to kind of give a hint that it's about to come back out and came in really big. So. leads us right back into the verse again. So that's basically the whole song. It's um, you know pretty basic, pretty simple. A little bit of finger stuff, a little bit of strumming, nothing you can't do. So uh, get out there, get to work, and write some awesome bass lines of your own. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, before you go anywhere, let me just play that chorus again. Went back, watched it, I played it all wrong. Well, it was partly right, it just was also wrong. So, so I'm going to play you the whole chorus and you can... <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm sorry. Joe's over here laughing, so ignore him. I'm going to play you the whole chorus and this time I'll play it right. The problem is that if I'm not singing and playing at the same time, I don't know what I'm doing. So i got to do them both, but I'll sing in my head so you don't have to hear it. Alright. is supposed to go. All right, now you can go. Bye.